loyalty squad this is the velvet locks coming back again with another video now this is going to be an unpopular opinions video because my opinion right now is going to be my opinion and i'm uploading this on this channel because of the content i just have a question i have questions okay i have questions and my question is why all the threats why all the threats now while I'm doing this video, I will be eating my watermelon today, okay? I have never been a fan of watermelon, but I've learned to like it, okay? Because it's full of water and it's delicious, okay? It's a nice little snack that you can have. Why the threats? This is what I can't understand. Why is the government pretty much taking away our rights. Our rights to choose, our rights, yeah, basically our rights to choose. Now, it's all across the whole news about so many people going unemployed right now, so many people losing their jobs because of their unpopular opinion. I guess you can read between the lines and figure out what I'm saying. If you are of a minority of people who feel the same way on a certain topic and because of your opinions and how you feel and your right to choose, you're being ridiculed, you're being spanked, and you're pretty much given no choice because you fall away from what it is that they want you to do. Huh. Okay, girl. So far, you're doing good. Okay? You're gonna have to read between the lines of this video because like I said, YouTube is very funny about certain things. Why the threats? I don't understand. Because of the way I feel, which is opposite of the things that is being implemented now, and because I have an opinion and I feel a certain way and I choose to stand 10 toes on how I feel, I'm amongst the, the population of people who feel the same way, who don't agree. Now, there's reasons that I have for my opinion and the reasons why I refuse to be a part of the majority or whatever the n numbers are on this particular subject, okay? My opinion is not enough research, not enough time in developing remedies, alternatives to really see the full effect of how it will be on people because everyone seems to be having different effects okay now one of the effects that i've been hearing about is menstruation long periods of menstruation cycles and even menstruation with women of a certain age such as myself who haven't seen a cycle in who knows how long now for me it's only been a couple of years but there are women older than me who hasn't seen it longer than me and they're now getting theirs back ain't nobody trying to go back there mm -mm. i'm living a free life don't have to think about that but why would something that is supposed to be effective causing things like this to happen in people not to mention internal bleeding of the brain why would i do that why would i be amongst the majority to want this if this is what it does to you or has a possible chance of doing this to you if i'm a healthy woman right now and I don't have any issues going on in my body. And even though there's a situation going on around all of us, and so far, because of my practices, because of my health, because of my lifestyle, me and my family have been doing very well and built up an immunity to situations. Boy, girl, you are really getting around this in the right way. Okay, stick with me now. And excuse the crunching, but this tastes good. Have your watermelon, y'all, or your fruits, because it is a wonderful snack. Now, not only have I heard that it can cause internal bleeding in the brain, but also in the beginning of the, the testing stages or the implementing of, of this thing, some people have experienced some facial palsy. Now, I forgot what that's called, but when your face goes numb on, on one side, uh-uh. Why would I want that? If you're a healthy person, and you've had no issues in your body or medically but then you do what the majority is doing and then you have these issues afterwards why would I want that not to mention the majority that has already applied for this situation there's so many of them still becoming 
Now I gotta choose my words right now. Choose your words right. They've been repeating or have repeated some issues. Even after application, some have came down with certain things still, able to give it away to others. <laughs> Girl, you are doing it. They're able to give it away to other people, even though they received their, their portion. Now, why would I want, as a healthy woman, with healthy people in my household, want this, this application, if it's not doing a job? If the job is not being done, why would I want to apply for that job? <laughs> okay. If the job is not doing this job, why would I want to apply for that job? For what? And then still be able to give it away, unbeknownst to myself, and still be able to receive it again after I've applied for the job. Are y'all with me? Why would I apply for a job that don't work and I'm still able to give it away as well as receive even more or it again. See, I got questions. And you know, this has really caused a division amongst people, amongst what's right, what's wrong, what's your choice, what you choose to do, what you choose not to do. It's dividing friendships, it's dividing marriages, and it's just dividing humanity because you're being treated and ridiculed if you don't want to be a part of the majority and what they feel is right. But you have an opinion as well, and your opinion should also matter when it has something to do with your personal being. I bumped into another YouTuber's channel, and this person mentioned there's another job. Hmm, how can I say this? There's another job developing, okay? There's another job already here, and that job has also caused others to feel a certain way and repeat the cycle. Of symptoms being put in the hospital giving it away to others there's a new job around that I don't think they're really putting a lot of focus on and that this is probably the cause of even more repetitive cycles but yet at the same time they're they're making it seem as though the minority is the reason for the repetitive cycle I don't think so mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The saddest thing about it is so many people are losing their jobs behind this and so many people are walking away from their jobs behind this. We got so many teachers already around the globe that are walking away or getting fired from their jobs. We got correction officers in our c correctional facilities who are leaving, okay, retiring early, leaving because of this. We got police officers refusing to apply for this position and because of their personal feelings and opinions, they're walking away from or abandoning their positions as well. And this is all across the board. This is in California, this is everywhere. What I noticed up here is the massive help wanted. The amount of places that are looking for people and there's nobody. There's nobody. There's a shortage everywhere. This is not even the time for you to get sick, okay? This is not the time for you to even get sick because there's a lot of nurses and doctors who are not applying for these jobs and they're willing to walk away from their current job because because they don't want to apply for that job now that really puts everything in a crazy way of thinking because if these are medical professionals refusing to apply for this position what does that say about this job what does it say about it you know, I have questions. Why are so many people feeling the way I feel? If it's so effective, if this job is so, you know, effective, why aren't people applying for it? And if it's so effective, why is the cycle still being repeated? Okay, if anything, they should be a shield of protection where they should be able to be in any situation and not have to worry. But even they have to worry. And the minority seeing this makes us wonder even more. Why? Why? Why should I give up my opinion and how I feel about it? Because society, the government, wants to enforce and mandate people for this position. Does that make sense to you? Not to mention the crazy tactics trying to get people to apply. And we're talking offering money, offering cars. We got Amazon 
trying to offer their employees who've already accepted this position and qualify for their inner office raffles to encourage others to apply for this position. I mean, they was giving up to $40,000 in cash, cars. In New York, as I was on my way out, on my exodus out, they were giving you marijuana for this job. And even inmates who receive these things would get less time on their sentence. Where have they done this before? Does that make sense to y'all? Why? What is the real reasons behind the thinking? Now I understand science and I don't understand why go through the craziness and the tricks to try to encourage more people to apply for this job. I'm a true believer of health. I'm a true believer of boosting up your immune system. I'm a true believer of a healthy lifestyle. And because of that, I've been good. I mean, my family's been good. I know in the beginning of this whole craziness, for eight months, I wasn't able to smell. And then when I went to a specialist, they boosted me with steroids and antibiotics. And within three days, my, my scent came back. And from that point, I was able to smell every darn thing in this world. But I don't understand that if you're a healthy person and you choose not to apply, why get mad? Why give me restrictions on what I can do, what I can't do? And why get mad when so many people feel the same way to the point where they're retaliating in some ways, meaning refusing and meaning also that they're willing to alter their lifestyle to adjust to this new world way of living. This is like a new world order that we're going through right now. We are living it right now. A new world order coming in because it's a new way of us living. It's a new way of us having to think and to plan and strategize our everyday lifestyle because of our situations. I'm hearing so much in the news regarding how effective this is. Why is there still a reoccurrence still going on? If there was enough time developing and then now issuing and being told that this is what is necessary, but at the same time, still going through cycles. Still people are having reoccurrences, which makes no sense. And they make it seem as though it's mostly the minority that's causing this when it's not. The majority is also causing this, but they don't talk about that. One thing this situation has caused me to do and caused a lot of people to do is change the way they live and change the way their life was. You know, when we were restricted from being in the elements, and so many things was closed down and shut down from us, we learned to adjust. We learned to reinvent ourselves. We learned to not be manipulated and still find means of entertainment, entertaining our families, exercising, cooking more, cook more at home. This way when they tell you you can't go to certain places without being carded that you won't even feel the effect because it's like, please, I don't need that anyway. Everything is overpriced and everything there is overpriced. So you might as well cook that at home and make it a meal for your family. You know what I mean? One thing I've seen is how people have reinvented themselves. So many people have recreated a lifestyle, a business for themselves. New York people, hustle mode, hustle mode. Oh my goodness. You got people doing delivery services, whether it's taxi services on mopeds, you see people doing food delivery services. You see people doing so many odds and ends. Businesses online. Therefore, they don't have to be amongst the multitude, okay? And still be able to make their money and feed their families. Meanwhile, there's so many people still struggling, dependent on the big brother. And that's not a good place to be, really and truly. For those of you who are dependent on the big brother, try to weasel your way off of the big brother's support and start doing more for yourself. I'm gonna have a video that I'm gonna do giving you ideas of ways for you to bring another source of income into your home. And I've done some of these in between and it's been very effective. I mean, the hustle mode is serious out here. So for those of you who are still struggling to put food on your table, who is dependent on the big brother and the financial support of the big brother, listen, get off of that fast. Okay, get off of that fast and get on your grind because things are not gonna get any better and this is not to scare anybody. It's just for you to get prepared 
for our new way of living. And I got videos that I want to do showing you how you can also help yourself feed your family and support yourself without being dependent on Big Brother. All right. So, y'all, like I said, I got questions. I got questions. And it's so weird, though, because when you hear other people asking questions, they get ridiculed. They get banned. Their channels get shut down. They get put on blast. Why? For asking a question? For wanting to know more? To be more educated? Why should I take the word of somebody else that has to do with me? If I choose to do something regarding my being that is not going to hurt, harm, or do anything for anybody else, why should you be upset if I'm still doing me and doing the best I can do to keep me and mine safe? Why is it such a bad thing to ask questions so that in case one day I choose to want to be amongst the multitude, I would know more, I would have more information and be more comfortable. So I suggest a lot of you also to do your own research. And if you have questions, you're not alone. The last person running this country caused a lot of division and hate. Why are we repeating a cycle now with the new person in charge still causing division amongst this earth, but in a different way, making threats and taking away your rights, which is not right. So y'all, this is just something that I wanted to share with y'all, get off my chest, and to talk about it. Because like I said, so many people have done this, and because of that, they're being violated. And it's not something that they're negatively putting out, it's just questions. We have questions. So answer the questions. Make them make sense. Because right now, it's not making sense. It's not adding up. So y'all, I don't know how to even end this video. All I know is I'm going to enjoy the rest of my watermelon and I got some things to take care of. But this is just something that I wanted to get off my chest to talk about and to also get some of your opinions on how you feel about it. I know so many people apply for the job because they had no choice. They had no choice. It was either sink or swim. And a lot of them chose to do that. But that was, their, that was how they feel. For the minority who chooses not to, that is no reason to cause more division and you know it's just getting crazy but y'all like i said i want to end this video and i just want to end it on this one note love each other respect each other all right so y'all i thank you for joining me and if you have any topics that you want me to discuss let me know okay but stay tuned for some interesting videos that you're going to be seeing on this channel all right and until then y'all i will see you in the next video are you ready to start your weight loss journey? Because I want to show you how to kickstart that new you body fast. I have this wonderful detox tonic that will have you feeling and looking better in the skin that you're in. And it's the popular Firm and Fat Belly Detox and Energizer Tonic. This tonic will help you to lose inches, cleanse your blood, burn unwanted body fat. This will also flatten your stomach, remove waste, boost your metabolism and strengthen your colon this tonic is powerful and within four to six hours after taking it you will definitely have to go you're going to have a huge bowel movement followed by several more throughout the day this tonic will remove all of that excess waste stored in your colon which will have you feeling better with more energy you can drink two to four tablespoons in the evening before bed and by the morning, you are going to have to go, 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 all right? You're going to be going to the bathroom. So you repeat taking this straight for one week, and then after that, every other evening to continue removing that toxic waste from your body. Of course, you should eat and drink healthy light meals, as well as do some exercise for maximum results. Feel and look better in no time. The Firm and Flat Belly Detox Tonic can be found down below in the eBay store. So hurry and get your bottle while supplies last.